Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have third and main spring. These boxes have been in my possession less than 30 minutes. I went and picked them up, burst through the doors and told everybody, stop what you're doing. I'm opening these boxes. So I am extremely excited to dive in. I also noticed this. This is a little bit familiar from their old boxes where they would put the sticker on the white box. Although I still think this is a little bit different. This must be the new box design. I don't want to push anything off the edge, but oh my gosh. Isn't this so cute? They labeled them for me. It's very kind of them to do that. So this is the contemporary over here, but look what's on the top. You might also note this box is bulging with stuff inside, I cannot wait. But I am loving this new box. It is so cute and it's so chic. So let me put this back on here. I mean, I should remember, you would think, but just in case. If you were nude around, nude? This is escalating quickly. If you are new around here, Third and Main is a home decor subscription box. They have always had the modern farmhouse box, but just recently they added the contemporary box and it has gone viral. Everybody is loving it. It sells out super quickly. They keep upping their inventory and it's still been selling out because it's just so new and fresh compared to what we see on stereotypical home decor boxes. The modern farmhouse is $129 each quarter and the contemporary is $149 each quarter. If you use code PINK10, you get 10% off your first subscription. And they have free shipping to most US locations. Some locations do get a surcharge on shipping and it does vary. Typically those are West Coast locations, Hawaii, Alaska, and Canada. They say inquire to check with them to confirm that. What I wanna tell you before we dive in is Unlike other home decor subscription boxes, Third in Main is a boutique curated home decor box. And they source from the highest quality home decor, including timeless pieces that transition from each season to each season year after year. Third in Main makes it easy for you to unbox then decorate your home. If you love to decorate, but you don't have the luxury of the time of shopping, you will enjoy this. Or maybe you're just not natural at shopping for home decor you will enjoy this. They are women owned and women operated and of course a small business. I like to include that because some of the home decor subscription boxes I open are biggest bang for your buck. I always want my boxes to have value. When I'm hanging out with you guys, that's one of the things we evaluate is the value there. But value can be found in different ways and in different places. And as you can see at a launch price of 129, this is more about high end curation and it's so, so good. So, start with contemporary. I don't know if we started with contemporary yet. Let's, let's dive in with that guy. So when you go in, you can order both boxes if you want to, or you can choose one style over the other. They have holiday add-on boxes that are so cute. Their Christmas pop-up boxes were awesome. They have gift boxes. If you're a corporation, they can partner with you to curate boxes. They do a lot in the building out of home decor stuff and sending it to people's. It's great. They also like to support local makers and shop from people here in the US. So they don't do a lot of overseas shopping like some other boxes do. They really want to support those local US businesses, local makers, and then curate and design your box around what's trending over here. Okay, this box is literally about to explode with stuff. So let me, oh, I kind of cut it. That's a bummer. But on the new box, it says, show us how you third in main, and it has their hashtag. And then it says, unbox, decorate, and enjoy. I love the new box. Okay. I'm like jittery, nervous, and excited. What? Okay. What? I got my little stool down here. I was wondering if we were gonna need it. Isn't that one of those vacuum seal bags? Like you can attach your vacuum to it and dehydrate it to store, and then you... Hear it? Rehydrate it and open it? I've never seen this before. These are great storage bags. Oh my gosh. That is brilliant to include that in the box because you use your things for the season and then you turn around and have to pack them away. And to have the 
storage be the dehydrator? I'm having a like moment. Freaking love this lumbar pillow. You guys, the quality on this pillow is phenomenal. Like it is extremely soft. It's firm enough like that it will hold you, but soft enough that it's conforming to a shape if you wanna, if you're like me and you put your pillows in style on your couch. This is the front of it and this is the back of it. So it's neutral on both sides. And of course, this is a case, plus it already has the insert, so it's done. The chenille woven pillow is a creamy white with geometric patterns. Oh, I'm gonna hold my little tidbit to myself. We'll loop back to this. So the Chanel pillow, that's why it's so soft. So cute. Look at this bowl. Now I have looked at no sneak peeks. I have dodged the internet and the different groups like a plague. Like I wanted to open this and just feel and experience everything. So I have no idea if any of this has been spoiled or not, but this bowl is everything. And it's got three things inside. We're just gonna set them aside. Oh, that's like, like air. Look at this guy. The gold basket, hand wrapped iron wire basket. Perfect to display your three moss balls inside. So they gave us the items that go in it. I feel like green moss balls like this scream spring. Like everything's starting to grow back. It's starting to bloom. It's getting new life again. So voila, there we go. Three moss orbs. And let me hold them up because they actually have not only the moss to them, but they've got like a texture, like grooves in them. And I mean, they feel like, I don't know, turf. So cute. So, so cute. What is this guy? This is beautiful, y'all. This is truly gorgeous. Look at the pattern on this. The ceramic planner, this beautiful cream colored ceramic planner offers a carved pattern, classic and modern. This piece is sure to be quickly become a favorite in your home. It does not have a hole in the bottom, so definitely faux plant or be prepared to put a rock base or some kind of drainage system uh, if you decide to put an indoor home plant in it. So here we are so far. Beautiful, beautiful. And what you, what I'm reading here is the third and main uh, style guide. It's gorgeous. It looks like this. You guys will have the real paper style guide. I didn't want to wait. They're like, hey, style guides are going to print. And I was like, just just ship me the box and email it to me. And so they laughed and said, okay, we'll do that. So you're gonna have the style guide that has all the spring box inspiration, how to decorate with a cohesive look, tons of photos on how to, like if you look right here, how they decorated. And then on the other side, it talks about like the tips and tricks. You guys will have all of that. It's a faux plant for the pots. Okay, gotta do a quality check on it though. You guys know how I am about my, my fake plants. I get super weird about them. Oh, I don't know what kind of plant it is though. This guy, let's see if it says. A faux fig leaf. Fig leaf tree in pot fits in your planter. Okay. So then this guy goes in here. Because of like how neurotic I am. If you look at the top of it, I would have to add rocks. Like I would add a natural stone on top of this to cover this to give it more of a organic feel because looking down from this perspective, it totally looks like a fake plant. These leaves will fall some just because of gravity, right? So even though I'm pulling them down, they're not wired so they don't fall easy. Uh, this plant is okay. Sorry, it's not amazing. I have to say though, I went and was trying to do some decorating, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, and I went to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, Home Goods, all of those stores, Kirkland's, a um, bunch of places. 
I, A, there were very few faux florals available in general. B, they were all very, very faux looking. Hobby Lobbies were completely unacceptable. Like almost everything in the store was completely unacceptable. Their version of a cherry blossom was atrocious. Um, so this compared to that experience, it looks great. If I had not just had that really bad shopping experience where I shopped for over 24 hours looking for faux greenery, I probably would not love this so much, but there must be something going on where there's a shortage because for that many stores to not have anything is crazy. But yeah, if you put the rocks like I told you all around the base here, it's really gonna improve the look of the plant. Um, it is the plasticky stuff, so it can go indoor or outdoor without getting messed up. There is a perk to the more plastic based plant. Do I think that this faux fig is a make or break on anything? Absolutely not. Am I gonna use it in my house? Absolutely am. Oh gosh, these are heavy. They're coasters, but look, they're like a natural stone marble. But let me pull this out real quick. They have beautiful green tones that blend perfectly with the plant and the moss balls, you guys. And each one is different. So it's very much a natural stone. So look, these two are not the same. And they do have the feet at the bottom so that they will not scratch the surface that they're placed on. These are gorgeous. Onyx coasters, round onyx coaster set of four. That, this is one of, this is a clincher item. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm saying that, that's a sports term. But like you're coming into that final point and you're like, okay, there's, these, there's just like one more thing that is needed to really make this work. And, but it can't be a big item because then it would compete with these other two statement items. And that's it. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. And then the thing I mentioned earlier that I was gonna save for the end. It's actually two pillows, you guys. I am a person who loves sets of pillows. That's, that's a thing for me. I can do one pillow, but like in my sitting room, I have two chairs. And by my sitting room, it's like a little bitty space in my entry. Sitting room makes that space sound way cooler than it really is. Y'all have seen it like a million times, but we're gonna call it a sitting room. It has two chairs, so I want two pillows. Or even on my couches. I want the two pillows sitting across from each other to create balance or on the outdoor couch, which these would not go on the outdoor couch, but I like two on the two chairs out there. Very excited to say we got two Chanel pillows. So two pillowcases, two pillow inserts, the set of four coasters, the wire basket, three moss balls, the faux plant and the pottery in the contemporary third in main box for 149. So, I mean, easily we could say on the cheap end, these are $30 each, which I think is a more than fair price. I would actually expect a set of these to be probably 75, 80, just to be honest. I feel like hands down, we are over halfway on the value of the box in just the quality of these pillows. The Pillows are 14 inches by 24 inches. So they are the big lumbar pillow, just to kind of give you guys a concept. And then just looking up like comparable wire baskets, there's a variety, but there's a couple at Anthropology for $138 each. Gosh, it's a very special basket. There's several at the home store for $42. Even Wayfair, the ones I'm seeing are $31 each. So just to kind of give you an idea, I like to run the value. So if this is 149, and let's count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just say these are seven items because you can get pillows with inserts, that's not impossible. Divided by seven, it's only $21 per item. Well, that's over $21. That's over 21, those are about 21. This is over $21 and this is over $21. So the only things that aren't are these and combined, I would say that those are a $21 value. This is like crazy good because I don't know if you've noticed, you're not gonna do any work to decorate. Like you're not, you didn't do any of the curation. You're not gonna do any of the decorating. It is so done. So walk into whatever space, your bedroom, this would be so like, let me encourage you guys to put this stuff in your personal space. This does not always have to go into the living room. It does not always have to go out for other people. These things can be your things that you put into your space. Go take this, get the rocks, but sprinkle some pretty rocks on top and put this on your bedside table. 
Put a coaster on your bedside table and one on your significant other's bedside table. Put this by the TV and throw those on your bed. This can be your thing. Of course, it also can go in a living room or a sitting room or a kitchen, a dining room. <laughs> it's super universal. Okay, we have Modern Farmhouse. Really excited. The last couple of times, the boxes played well together. Like, if you got both boxes, you could decorate with them both. And I know a few of you, I was like, I know it's an investment, but oh my gosh, I don't know how you're gonna choose. And a few of you just messaged me and said, we didn't choose, we bought them both. <laughs> I don't blame you. I did mention earlier, the contemporary box sells out so fast. Like, every time, the minute this video goes live, there's just a run, it goes so fast. And so I don't know what their current inventories are, um, but if you like it, just go get it. <laughs> just go get it. The Modern Farmhouse usually has a little bit more inventory because it's their OG. It's been around for a while. So there's not as much of a panic, but once again, any of the boxes I'm opening, if you like it, just go get it because these are small businesses and they are hand curated. So to some degree with that uniqueness, there has to be a limited value or it loses its uniqueness. You know what I mean? Woo! Oh yeah, here. So this is what you'll get in both boxes um, if you're a subscriber. So obviously, we got a little bit of a spoiler. On the back is all of the items, but inside, it does a really good job of telling you about the box, how to decorate with the box, and then on the other side over here, it shows photos. I don't wanna show you that. I'm just gonna ruin the whole box. But look, freaking loving this green with all of my heart. This green is spring, and it's spring without being like tulips and I don't know. I don't mind tulips, but I do love myself a good green. And it's not just because I'm a redhead. So this guy, I don't know what he's made out of. Hold on. It does say spot clean only, so heads up on that. And there are indeed two of them. Okay, I can't pull the other one out. It's in there. Uh, cause I'll yank everything. But the set of two woven cotton square pillows with sage green and white stripes pillow insert is included. Yeah, here it says 100% cotton on it, but it doesn't have the size. I don't know how big it is. A 20 by 20, it's gonna be bigger than that. Looks like it's about a 20 by 20. That's what it's saying. It looks bigger than that to me. Let's get it fluffed a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it chops really good. Look at that. That holds a good karate chop. Oh, that makes my heart happy. Okay, love that. Once again, move faster. You guys, you guys. Okay. Oh. Do you guys know what these are called? When you put a decoration and you put it on top, it's called a cloche. A glass cloche, so it's just a glass covering, <laughs> really. Fancy name for a glass covering. So you put a decorative item underneath. Case in point, my handy dandy DeWalt tape measure. Love these, because they can be used for food, they can be used for any type of like uh, decorative item that you put inside, but also when you get real tricky with these, you can do like a stack of books then you can fill this with something like the uh, Easter egg jelly beans or the Valentine's hearts with the sayings on them. Put the book on it, flip it and put it down. And it's just really cute and chic when it's just filled with items. Love these. I actually have these in several sizes, none this small. They're all big. So I'm really excited to have a little guy to join the little group. Seeing some greenery. A wisteria half orb. Add your wisteria half orb to your other item in there to instantly bring the beautiful colors of spring indoors. So anytime you see a plant like this, you're like, what the heck does it go into fish tank? No, actually it gives you the convenience of putting it in anything like this. So like any type of pot, the pot that we just took out of the last one, you could set this on top and it looks like there's a full plant in there, but it's not, it's just a topper. It's actually really great. These also look really good if you set them on like, what I said earlier, a stack of books. 
and wrap like beads around them and let the beads come down. Um, these are really great also if you're doing any kind of decor where you wanna hang and you only want to see that side. You don't have to mess with the pot and the stems and all the things. These are really, really great. And this is actually excellent quality. Love the greenery on this. It is um, a plastic, but it's a very high-end quality plastic. This could go indoor or outdoor. And I will hold still enough so you can actually see. There's a two-tone to the green. This is a very, very well done greenery. I'm loving this piece. So let's put these guys together because they just look so good. And let's see if we can find the other piece that goes with that greenery. Yeah, this is it. Dun, 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 dun. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the feet. I am loving this planter, a stoneware footed planter with reactive glaze. Let's get this guy off and set this here. Take this guy and set him on top. So there you go. Tuck him down a little bit. Don't set him on top. So like literally you can see that gap right there. Kind of nestle his booty in just a little bit to give that impression of a plant emerging out. Look how good. So good. So good. Very cute. Once again, like I said earlier, this could be living room. This could be bedroom. There's some options to work with here. What is this? Oh, my heart be still. Look. It's moss with two eggs inside. Two ceramic eggs in reindeer moss. Your colors may vary. So everybody's gonna get, or several of us are gonna get different colors. I got two green on green ceramic eggs and they're speckled. They remind me of my beautiful chickens. These are so cute. So you nestle them down in here and then you put this guy on top. I love it. I love it! That is so pretty and that is so chic. Okay, we're gonna finish unboxing this guy. Then we're gonna put both of the boxes up here because, oh my goodness gracious, I'm already cross-designing you guys. Oh, he's heavy. What's this guy? Oh my gosh. I love this. Can you see this? Be the beads on the edge? We've got the rounded feet in a natural wood right here. Then on the bottom, it's just a basic, it's just solid natural wood. Oh my gosh. Trey, showcase your lovely spring display, arrange eggs on moss, and then enclose. So put these guys up here and this guy up here. You can take this and put this in your bedroom on your dresser. You can put this on the coffee table. You could put this on your mantle. And then take both of your pillows and put them on your bed or put them on your couch. So we have both of these guys. Oh my gosh, I am in love. The, the colors, this is so good. And I always, with this box, I don't consider myself farmhouse and I don't consider myself contemporary. I, I just find myself somewhere in the middle, which is I think is why I can mix and match these so well because I kind of like to blend that mesh of like, yeah, I want a very chic, classy, sophisticated, contemporary look. Sometimes some really clean lines, some really shiny pieces, but I also love me some natural wood and I love me some beads and fringe. It's, yeah. I am a I have a decorating crisis uh, when it comes to labeling my decor, but I am so okay with that. I am totally at peace with that. So now I want to show you this. So you get your box in. I've talked you through several ways to decorate, but on this guy, it shows you several ways you can decorate. It walks you how to, and then it shows you literally photos on what they have done with the box. So let's get both of them up here real quick. Okay, so if you are like me and you do not have a really defined style, good luck choosing one of these. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna come down to this piece right here making or breaking. 
like which one of these you identify with because here is this pillow with this pillow. They look really, really, really good together. Like, oh boy, like really and truly. So like, think about those go good with that. I could take that off. I could take this off and swap like, oh boy, you guys. <laughs> This is gonna be tricky for y'all. This is really good. Of course, if you're a new subscriber, you are most definitely going to want to grab the coupon code to sign up. And then um, let me know if you are already a subscriber, tell me which box you subscribe to, and if you do both, tell us, and tell us why you love it. If you are not a subscriber yet and you become a new subscriber, comment and tell us which box you grabbed. Um, if you have not already joined the Ask the Pink Envelope group on Facebook, hop over there. We talk about so many boxes. We swap design ideas. We swap products. We're just really kind of playing with all of these things and interchanging ideas. So join us over there because I have a feeling this is going to really light up that wall with some conversation. And I'm like already planning to decorate with me in my head right now. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I love, love, love hanging out with you guys. I love doing these unboxings. Like this video, comment below. We love hanging out and just really kind of getting, I love getting to know you guys. I'm really honestly like have my friends that I look for you guys to pop up. It's encouraging. You guys offer such great feedback to each other and to myself. It's invaluable and I just really love, love being with you guys. I hope that you guys have a fantastic spring and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye y'all. If you are new around here, home decor. I'm gonna talk a lot in this one.